Welcome back Minecrafters, this is Let's Survive Minecraft and my name is Monday. In today's episode we are becoming master builders. We are building two important buildings. One of them is my favorite, an iron farm. The other one is our house that needs to be bigger and better. As well, our storage is full and disorganized so we need to have more and better storage. And as well, don't forget to hit the like button if you're enjoying today's episode as well. Don't forget to subscribe to be part of this amazing journey. So let's get building. But before we get started on our house, we need to get an iron farm started. An iron farm is a very important farm for us later in the game. As further as we get into the game, the more iron we're gonna need. And an iron farm is easier than mining iron now i want to build our iron farm in our spawn chunk because if you build in the spawn chunk your spawn chunk will always be active doesn't matter where you are in the world and with this our iron farm will be running all the time and to find our world chunk we need to find our world spawn and for this we need a compass and a compass always points at your world spawn and you have to keep walking around, follow the red arrow until it starts spinning around. Here we go. We start spinning backwards. So our world spawn is somewhere around here. Now to find the proper chunk, we have to press F3 and G and it will show our chunk. So this world spawn is right at the edge of this chunk here. Yes. So... I would say this here is our world chunk. And we're going to build our iron farm in here. We are close to a village, but we are not close enough to a village to actually interfere with the iron farm. So let's get building. I already built a chest right here with all the items that we need. We are following today a tutorial from Waddles, and I'm going to leave a link in our description below. All right, so let's get started. I mapped out our world chunk to ensure we are staying within it. This farm is quite small and simple to build and doesn't need too much space. So we should be fine with staying within the chunk. Uh, the complicated part of this farm is moving the villagers and finding a zombie villager to move into this farm as well. So to start with, we are going to go five blocks. That's two, three, four, five. And then we are having slabs that go around the fifth block one two three four then we're gonna go up two more blocks one two and then slabs around it again but this time we're gonna put them at the bottom of the top block just like this which will prevent actually any not like this It will actually prevent iron golems to be spawning on this, which is going to be the roof of where the zombie is going to be living. Now we are removing three blocks. That's one, two, three. And then we are going to be placing a bucket of water at the bottom. And that's where the zombie is going to be standing. If he stands in the water, he's not going to be burning up by the sun. Okay, now we can jump down and we will be removing the bottom one, two, three blocks. And here we go. And this is where our zombie is going to be living. Now let's work on where our village is going to be living. Okay, now we're going to put two blocks right here, one on the bottom. We're going to be removing this one and then put slabs right here this is going to be the floor of where the villagers are going to be living and it's going to be space for three beds now we can remove this block we're going to keep this one now we're going to have to build three beds on top of here and they have to be placed exactly like this now we are Placing one more block here and one more slab right here. Then we'll place one block on each side. 
And chains on the bottom. You maybe have to crouch a little bit. And then we can remove the top blocks right here. And we can remove this middle block right here. This way the villagers will be able to see the zombie. They were going to get scared. And when they get scared they are going to produce an iron golem that will be spawning on the bottom here to protect them. Now we have to build the walls around this. Which we are doing with slabs. Here we go. Now the ceiling. For the ceiling we're going to build one more block up like this. A slab on top. And then this will be our ceiling right here. We're going to make sure we have everything covered. Now this is pretty much it. Now we have to build the killing chamber of this farm which will be located right under where our zombie will be standing. And the way it will work is once the villagers are scared, uh, iron golem will spawn. The iron golem will try to protect the villager and attack the zombie. And we'll go right here where it's going to fall into a 3x3 three three hole with lava. To build this, we're going to be standing right under this block. And then we're going to be digging right down here. We're going to do a 3x3 three hole that's going to be five deep all right here we are five deep and the next thing we're doing is building a chest for this i am digging a hole just like this we're going to be placing a double chest right here and a hopper that faces into it and then we are going to be filling up this whole space with hoppers and we're going to make sure by crouching and placing onto another hopper that all these hoppers are gonna be facing into each other just like this now we need a way out so we are digging our way out and we brought some ladders to get our way out of here The next thing we need to place some signs just like this at the end we will be placing lava on top of the signs don't worry the signs will not burn the iron golem will try to protect the villager attack the zombie will fall down into the lava burn up all the droppings will be collected by the hoppers and will be able to collect it inside this chest Okay, the building is pretty much done and now comes the fun part. We need to collect three villagers from the village, bring them over here with the rail and we have to collect one zombie. The zombie is the last thing we're going to be adding to this farm and we have to make sure the zombie will be ending up right in here in the water. All right, we build a staircase up to where the villagers will be living. And now all we have to do is build a train track all the way to the village and transport our villagers here. When placing rails up the stairs, we need to ensure we use powered rails. And the powered rails need to be powered by some sort of redstone power source. So today we are using a redstone block that we are placing down here. And this will power the rail and the minecart will be able to run to the top with no problem. Now let's build a train track all the way to the village. All right, the train tracks are completed all the way to the village. The one thing to know is when building train tracks that a minecart can only take you 38 blocks and then you need a powered rail to push you even further. So it's important that once in a while you're going to be placing a powered rail. Now I know there are two villagers in this house here. All right and now we are placing down two minecarts which will pick up our two villagers hopefully okay the villagers both of them are in their minecart and are ready to be transported so now we just need to connect to our main rail all we have to place now is a train track right here 
here we go and off they go to our farm All right, three villagers have made it in. We're going to break all the minecarts. And now they are in place. And we can break down the whole track. Now, with the villager in place, we need to make sure we're ready for the zombie. And it's getting dark, which is perfect. We want it to become nighttime, where we're going to be able to capture as zombies. So we first have to put a trapdoor down right here open it up we're going to build some temporary blocks around here so we can hopefully capture a zombie right here we're going to close this so the zombie will stand on it and then once he's on it we are opening the door now we have to be careful that we are not going to get any creepers to follow us but we do have some villagers here and the zombies will come for the villagers so we should be able to get some looks like they are coming come on yes here we go we got one in all right, now it's time to put on the name tag. Here we go. We're going to remove the trap door carefully and we're going to replace it with another slab. Here we go. Now we can remove all the blocks up here. The farm is going. And as you can see, we already have our friend the Iron Golem spawning. All right, we did it. We have our zombie and we have our three villager and we already have an iron golem. And as he's trying to fight this zombie, he did fall into this pit, which is what we want. And it was a really close call. We ended up being chased by so many zombies, skeletons, spiders and creepers. I ended up running back to my base to sleep in safety. Now, there's couple more things we need to do to get this chamber ready one thing we need to do is we need to put some trap doors here which will actually help the golem fall down because they're going to see this as a block and they're going to walk over it and they're going to fall in now the last remaining item is a bucket of lava here we go and this is our killing mechanism with our iron farm completed and working, we are heading back home where we are starting our preparation to build a larger house and a larger storage system. And now it is time to start our new house. Our starter base is too small, it's out of date, our storage is full and disorganized. And it's time to upgrade. We'll build a two-story house with plenty of space and lots of storage. So, let's not wait much longer and jump right in. And here we go, our house is done. I did a little bit more of terraforming around our house, but overall I'm very happy with it. Inside, very simple, a large storage area down here. I got signs ready to label them all and I will be off camera moving things from our first space into here and everything should be better organized. I am very happy with my upstairs, a lot of details in here, lots of storage that we are able to fill up. A great window to watch the sunset going down behind the hills back here. We do have our first widow skeleton ready to go for our next episode where we are fighting the wither but we do need two more skulls so some stuff for us to do in our next episode 
Now, a little bit of a bedroom here. Oh, it's empty. We got to find some decor for this little planter here. Our bed. And yeah, I think this is going to be a great little base. Lots of storage. I love the ceiling. And yeah, I feel like this is it for our episode today. And again, if you don't want to miss anything in the future, subscribe to my channel today. And if you have learned something new today, please leave a like below. Now, we had a lot of fun today. We got a very important farm, the iron farm that is running just behind us. It should be running all the time and it should give us lots and lots of iron in the future. And I finally was able to build a proper house for us as well as a better storage that will last us for quite a bit of time and like i mentioned in our next episode we are heading back to the nether and we will find some more riddle skeleton skulls and we'll be able to fight the wither and when we are finished fighting the wither we should be able to build our first beacon and we'll learn how to use our beacon to our advantage so this is it my name is monday and we will see you next time